हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी फार्माकोलॉजी ऑफ इनहेल्ड एंड सिस्टमिक कॉर्टिकोस्टेरॉइड्स नाउ इट इज कवर्ड इन द वीडियो ऑन एंटी एसेमेटिक ड्रग्स पार्ट फाइव नाउ इनहेल्ड कॉर्टिकोस्टेरॉइड्स आर द फर्स्ट लाइन ट्रीटमेंट फॉर आस्थमा नाउ इन ऑर्डर टू अंडरस्टैंड रोल ऑफ कॉर्टिकोस्टेरॉइड्स लेट्स रिकेपिटुलेट पैथोफिजियोलॉजी ऑफ एस्थमा now as we all know asthma is a chronic inflammatory disease of respiratory tubes and apart from this there is hypersensitivity of the bronchial tract and therefore common triggers like air uh, pollutants uh, stress cold exercise cause inflammation of uh, airway mucosa uh, mucosa is the innermost lining of the wall of the respiratory tubes now this inflammation results in uh, hypersecretion of mucus it causes increase in vascular permeability and the cardinal feature of asthma that is the bronchoconstriction and uh, therefore the symptoms of asthma are dyspnea that is difficulty in breathing uh, tightness of chest uh, due to the contraction of smooth muscles then cough and wheezing wheezing is a whistling sound that is heard uh, during exhalation so corticosteroid suppress Uh, inflammation that is triggered by the allergens uh, apart from this um, corticosteroids are immunosuppressive and they suppress all type of uh, hypersensitization and allergic responses to the allergen and now uh, the root cause of asthma is the inflammation and uh, corticosteroids being anti inflammatory they exhibit more uh, complete and sustained uh, symptomatic relief uh, in asthma uh then other uh, bronchodilators or uh, from uh, compared to other anti asthmatic medications uh, they provide a uh, better or complete and sustained uh, symptomatic relief in the asthma now as discussed corticosteroids are anti inflammatory and immunosuppressive uh, there are two types of corticosteroids inhaled corticosteroids and uh, oral and parenteral corticosteroids now commonly used inhaled corticosteroids are uh, budesonide then uh, fluticasone uh, baclomethazone now inhaled corticosteroids are the drug of choice to control symptoms of uh, intermittent and persistent asthma now puffs of uh, uh, inhaled corticosteroids are taken using meter dose inhalers now apart from this efficacy of inhaled corticosteroids is similar uh, to those of oral and uh, intravenous steroids uh, however these uh, inhaled corticosteroids they exhibit uh, significantly less side effects uh, since they are delivered directly to the lungs and uh, the smaller doses are required and uh, they exhibit uh, less side effects Uh, now talking about oral and parenteral corticosteroids uh, commonly used drugs are prednisone prednisolone and methylprednisolone and uh, normally these drugs are reserved for severe chronic asthma not controlled by bronchodilators and inhaled corticosteroids now due to severe bronchoconstriction there is difficulty in using inhaled corticosteroids and uh, their use is uh, very uh, significant in uh, status asthmaticus and in uh, acute asthma exacerbations uh, not responding to intensive bronchodilator therapy however these oral and uh, iv steroids they should not be used for the long uh, term or for the long time efficacy of uh, oral and parenteral steroids is similar to those of uh, inhaled corticosteroids now systemic corticosteroids uh, uses restricted Uh, because of uh, significant systemic side effects like uh, most important is the suppression of uh, hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis and uh, that can result in adrenal crisis so doses of steroids uh, should be carefully tapered and other significant side effects are for example growth retardation uh, then uh, risk uh, of infections because it is a immunosuppressor then osteoporosis and therefore these oral and parenteral corticosteroids they are not recommended for long term use now let's understand mechanism of action uh, of corticosteroids with the help of diagrams now corticosteroids are anti inflammatory they inhibit synthesis of inflammatory proteins uh, they thereby, thereby they suppress inflammation that is the root cause of asthma now this figure shows a nucleosome these are uh, blue in color and they are present in the chromatin now each nucleosome is made up of eight histones histones are proteins and uh, dna as shown in the diagram dna is wrapped around the nucleosome 
Now, uh, certain substances called as co-activators, uh, for example, SRC1, uh, that is the steroid receptor co-activator 1. Uh, then we have CBP, PCAF, uh, these are the co-activators. These co-activators, they uh, mediate addition of acetyl group to the histone. Now, that is the acetylation of histones. Now, acetylation of histones uh, results in the opening of chromatin. It results in the unwinding of DNA. Uh, so, all these co-activators, they possess intrinsic uh, histone acetyl, uh, acetylase transferase activity. That means the immediate addition of acetyl group to the histones. Now, this results in the uh, inflammatory genes uh, transcription. Uh, synthesis of messenger RNA and further translation that is synthesis of uh, inflammatory proteins uh, for the synthesis of inflammatory mediators. Now corticosteroids, uh, they reduce the uh, histone acetylase uh, transferase activity. So they suppress uh, the synthesis of inflammatory mediators. Now on the other hand, uh, there are co-repressors. Uh, these core repressors they possess uh, intrinsic uh, histone uh, deacetylase activity that means they mediate the removal of acetyl group from the histones now this ca causes uh, reduced uh, because of the deacetylation there is reduced uh, transcription there is reduced translation and hence uh, there is reduced synthesis of uh, inflammatory proteins and inflammatory mediators. So what the corticosteroids uh, do is this that they reduce the histone um, acetylase uh, transferase activity and they increase the histone deacetylase activity thereby uh, they reduce the synthesis of inflammatory uh, proteins or inflammatory mediators. Now look at this diagram. Uh, this is the diagram of a cell. Uh, so, uh, outermost is a cytoplasm and inside is a nucleus. Uh, this glucocorticoid here is shown in the red color. Now, this glucocorticoid, it penetrates the cell membrane. It reaches the cytoplasm. In the cytoplasm, it binds to the glucocorticoid receptor and this complex then uh, translocates to the nucleus. Now, here the glucocorticoid uh, or the complex, it binds to the co-activators as well as the co-repressors. Now, uh, the pharmacological action of glucocorticoid is this, that it, uh, uh, it uh, reduces the histone acetylase transferase activity of co-activators. Thereby, there is reduced uh, addition of the acetyl group to the histones. And uh, this complex or the glucocorticoids, they enhance uh, the uh, histone uh, deacetylase activity. That means they enhance the removal of uh, acetyl group from the histones and uh, uh, therefore uh, this results in the uh, suppression uh, of uh, uh, inflammatory genes uh, so this causes uh, inflammatory genes uh, suppression or the repression uh, there is reduced uh, transcription and there is reduced uh, translation that is there is reduced uh, synthesis of uh, inflammatory uh, proteins and uh, thereby there is reduced synthesis of inflammatory mediators like for example uh, tumor necrotic factor alpha interleukins uh, which are responsible for the inflammation. Thus corticosteroids or glucocorticosteroids they show anti-inflammatory activity and uh, they reduce the airway inflammation in asthma uh, that is a root cause of the asthma. Uh, so, corticosteroids improve airflow, uh, they reduce asthma exacerbation and they also retard the disease progression uh, since they reduce inflammation of airways uh, that is a root cause of asthma. Now, corticosteroids also increase uh, airway responsiveness to uh, beta 2 agonist uh, like for example albuterol and terbutaline. Uh, corticosteroids also reduce the need for rescue uh, beta 2 agonist. Uh, inhalations and uh, inhaled corticosteroids are the first line uh, treatment for asthma. So this is in brief about pharmacology of uh, inhaled and uh, systemic corticosteroids and their major role uh, in the management of uh, asthma.
and uh, if you find the video useful kindly like subscribe and share this video you can ask your questions in the comment section and uh, please note that this video is meant only for the educational purpose uh, thanks for watching the video